Fellow sports fans, welcome back to the Road to the Show with Benjamin Harrison, our third baseman now with the Red Sox organization. That's right, folks. He was traded at the beginning of the season to the Red Sox. He is in AAA at their AAA affiliate, Pawtucket, and he is getting ready to play here. So he's had kind of a rough start, batting 200 with one home run and six RBIs. Not the Benjamin Harrison that we know. He has been completely frustrated and blindsided by this trade. So we're going to jump in here to the first game against the Syracuse Syracuse Chiefs here and see if he can't turn things around. He's kind of had some humbling here, and he says to himself, you know what, let's make a go of it. Let's make the best of it. Let's make the Yankees sorry that they ever traded me within the division to the Red Sox, right? So first at bat here, he's going to be grounding it out to the shortstop, and he does not do anything there. With his first at bat, but you know what, folks, it's got to get better before it gets worse, right? So we know he's struggling. We know he's inside his own head right now. So he's gonna get his second at bat. And he's gonna lift this one into right field, and the right fielder ranges on over and makes the catch. So that's two now, two at bats and two down. He goes in here now for his fourth at bat. He steps in 0 for three on the day. Let's see if he can't get on base here. Try to take advantage of the opportunity with the tie score. Two outs here in the eighth. Rips this one into left center field. It'll drop in there. The center field is able to cut it off before it gets past him to the wall. And he does get on base there with his first base hit of the game. As you can see, he got right on top of that fastball, 97 miles an hour. And he just kind of went with it there. And he rips it into left center field. And that's the Benjamin Harrison that we know and that we love and want to see. So that's going to kind of do it for his day here. Not much doing as he kind of goes away with it. And the Chiefs do get the win, despite him getting on base late on. But let's see what the manager has to say. A recently snake-bitten hitter gets a pickup from his coach. So hitting coach McIntyre, kid, you're hitting the ball pretty hard consistently. Sometimes it just goes where they are. That's not your control, so try not to get impatient. It's okay, coach, is what we're going to say. Streaks of bad luck are a fact of life in baseball that must be endured. Keep your poise, keep swinging it, it'll turn. And we'll just say, all right, because that's just the way you got to go with it, right? So we'll take that. Coach kind of comes out, hitting coach comes out, got a little bit of encouragement. Maybe that'll help turn things around for him. As you see, he goes one for four here. So the average is at 202, a little bit higher than we started off. Definitely headed in the right direction, but not quite where we want to be yet, especially for, like I said, Benjamin Harrison. So let's go ahead and jump in to the next game. We'll do a couple games here in this video for you guys kind of see how he gets along here with the red Sox. you can see that he is batting 216 over those last 10 games and that's something we got to definitely turn around for him that is not benjamin harrison-esque at all so we're stepping here to the next game against the chiefs again second game 202 is the average 290 is the on base percentage stepping in for the first time here in this one with one on in second base and nobody out he's gonna wait for the pitcher to deal Swung on and grounded softly to the shortstop who picks it up. Fires across the diamond, but he's going to be safe as he beats it out. And it was just enough into the hole there that he's able to beat it out and leg it out for an infield single. Nice hustle by the youngster there on that one. So stepping in here to his second at bat now. Two on and two outs. Runners on first and second. Let's see if he can capitalize on this one as they're down one run. He's going to rip this one right back up the middle. And it's going to be the second baseman who grabs it. Throws it over the first as he fires it in there and gets him out. So nothing doing there. Stepping in now in his fourth at bat. One for three with the bases loaded and one out. Scores tied. Gets his pitch. Rips this one. And the second baseman dives. Bats it into the air. And the shortstop makes the grab for the out. Did you see that? That is absolutely unbelievable. And just bad luck all the way around. So now we're stepping in here with two outs and a runner on at second. Six to three is your score. See if he can buy himself a hit here. Rips this one into center field. This time he gets the hit. Nobody there to kind of knock it around. That was an absolutely unbelievable play. Never seen anything like that in my life. But he gets on here with the base hit. The run will score as it comes around from second base. And he does get the RBI for that one as well. So we'll catch the replay on that one. as That was a nice hit by Benjamin Harrison as well. So finally able to get himself a decent hit there after getting robbed of one. Absolutely robbed. So two for five stepping in here now. Seeing if he can't get a three-hit ball game for him. So it's 12-3 to three right now in the top of the eighth. Runner on at third. He's going to rip this one into right field. He's going to drop down. 
just in time in front of the right fielder. He'll be on with a base hit and another RBI. So that's his third hit of the game as he comes away and has a pretty decent game here. Comes back and uh, kind of swinging the bat pretty good after talking to the coach. But Tuckett wins the game here as they get the blowout, 13-3, to 21 hits for the team. And three of them going to Benjamin with two RBIs. Nice day for him here, and that's kind of what we want to see out of him and what we're expecting out of him, right? It's, we know what he can do. We've seen what he can do already. We can see that he is considered third in the organization here in the depth chart as Pablo Zondaval has now been called up to the major leagues there. Finally, Pablo has been having some struggles, uh, but I think we can kind of replace him pretty soon if we can kind of turn things around here for ourselves. We could take a look at the stats now. As we can see where he was before and where he is now, we're definitely going to be able to turn that around now. So we're stepping to the third game now with the Syracuse Chiefs, and I'm kind of playing every game to get him back into shape here. We can see he's 4 for 10 now with two RBIs in the series. So definitely switching it around here, definitely turning it around. His first at bat, he's got a runner on it first. He's going to rip this one into right field. It's going to drop in front of the, the uh, right fielder, and the runner from first gets around to third base on that one. So base hit. For Benjamin there. His next at bat. Three to three is the score. Nobody out. Rips this one right to the shortstop. Who will ground it. Throw it onto first for the out. So nothing doing on that one. And we're not going to get a hit every time. But one for three now. He steps in. Scores tie three three in the top of the eighth. Gets his pitch. Swung on and ripped into center field. He's going to drop down in front of the center fielder. Gets it on the one hop. Gets it right back into the infield. And he's on with his second hit of the game. And that's going to do it there as Syracuse wins this one as well. But he goes two for four, has a decent uh, day at the bat and in the field as well, picking up 153 points for the effort on that. We'll take a look at the calendar here. We'll go ahead and sim a few games for him and see how he does without us actually playing. So take a look at the stats there. And he actually goes four for five. So he has himself a great game with a home run, two RBIs, uh, and a stolen base. So did quite well there without our assistance in the sim. And we can see over the last 10 games that bat has gotten hot again. So 381 now with a home run, six RBIs, and two stolen bases in those 10 games. Definitely turning it around here, folks. And that's what we want to see for our young third baseman. And remember, he made the move from second base because the Yankees felt he would be better off in the organization and move up a lot quicker going to third base. And they just kind of gave up on him. And fell in love with Chase Headley over there in the New York organization. Don't know why that happened. But in the game here, he steps in, has a full count, and he's going to get walked as he has his patience pays off, and they just kind of put him on base there, and he will get the walk, driving up that on-base percentage for sure as they show him some much respect, especially since he's been batting such a hot bat lately. So stepping in here now, the average is at 260. We got two outs in the bottom of the third here. Pawtucket's down one nothing. He's going to rip this one into left field, through the hole, right past the shortstop. Gets on there, rounds first, and holds wisely as he's on with his first base hit of the game. So stepping in here now, single in the third, walk in the first. Got that 267 average. He grabs a little dirt there to rub his gloves together. Runner on at second base, nobody out. Bottom of the fifth gets his pitch, rips this one past the second baseman into right field. The runner will come around, and he's going to score easily as it's cut off there on the infield grass. And Harrison on with an RBI single, getting some runs batted in there lately, definitely hitting clutch. So we are later on in the inning. There's two runners on. This one's going to be a base hit into right field as he comes around third, and he'll get home easily as they're not even going to try to gun him down. They're not even going to go after him there, and he gets it there. So now stepping in here, two for two, two singles, RBI run, 267 is the batting average. 274 is the batting average. I'm sorry. And he's going to get himself a no. He's going to get robbed of a hit there as a shortstop goes up, leaps and rips and robs him of another hit. He gets robbed often. Sometimes I wonder about this game as he gets robbed there and makes a huge leaping catch as he goes way up in the air to get that one. We'll hear from the coach again. A hitter on a hot streak receives kudos from his batting coach. Man, I must be heck of a kidding coach the way you're swinging it lately. And it's like, you're welcome or thanks, coach. We're going to get a, go with the you're welcome, and we're going to kind of play it as the cool kid. And keep it up, slugger. We get a trophy for that one. Road to the sh road, road to the me show, I guess is what they're going to call it, which is kind of cute. Kind of like the way that looks there. But he goes two for four at the RBI, another 180 points. The average is at 269 now. So 
69 points up from when we started the start of the episode, and he is definitely back on the right track here as things are starting to swing around for Benjamin Harrison, and we're only going to hope for big things for him here. He is definitely going to go out there and make the Yankees sorry that they ever traded him to the Red Sox. You know, just don't do that. He's going to try his best here to make it work. But come on back for more Benjamin Harrison. Thank you for stopping by. Leave your comments and a like for the video. I will see you around the channel, and bye-bye now.